I'm the one that catches the fish. Look at that, folks. Look at that fisherman. It's a unique lifestyle. Basically, we can just up the anchor and move the boat and live wherever we want. The family of six has called this boat home for nearly three years. Hi, welcome to our salon. This is our living room, kitchen, and office all in one. From solar panels to saltwater converters, they've come up with a great system to make living off the grid work. We do homeschool and a combination of online school actually for the kids because we have Starlink, which is awesome. And then for groceries, we have to take our little dinghy and we have to go to shore and we actually have to haul all of our groceries back to the boat. Yeah, daily life in, in general isn't always as convenient as it is on regular land life. You know, we don't have a car. When we get to land, we walk to the grocery store. I mean, it's just a completely different way of life, but I would say one where all of our character has been built. While they know this lifestyle isn't for everyone, they hope they can encourage other families to get out of their comfort zones and try something new. Hey, I live on a sailboat and this is my favorite thing to do. We hope that people feel inspired to, to not feel stuck and to live life a little bit differently and to make more moments, more memories as a family and ultimately to create more Saturdays in their lives. Yeah, that's why we named the boat and our channel and Instagram, all of that. That's why it's all called Everyday Saturday because, you know, we found ourselves always kind of working for the weekend, waiting for Saturday, the one day that we all get to look forward to and spend time with those that we love. And, and so that's, that's who we are. We're Everyday Saturday. Okay, one, two, three. Yeah! The Morris family says they've been to more than 20 countries on their boat, and they're always sure to post on social media about their experiences. Now, criticism always comes with a large online presence, and while they can brush off most of the haters, there are a few things that they want to address. You don't have to be in all this debt and living paycheck to paycheck, but sometimes living smaller so that you can save and invest your money so that you can create really meaningful experiences as a family. So that's kind of how we've gotten to be able to do what we're doing. We're so grateful for it. I would say, yeah, this this lifestyle appears like you have to be rich to live it, and you absolutely don't. I mean, we, we bought the boat with basically the equity we had in our house, which in the Boise area is actually pretty easy to do these days because everybody's yeah. houses are worth a lot of money. And um, and then, you know, our, we don't have as many bills as we had on land. You actually can live quite cheaply out here, um, especially if you do your own boat maintenance. We try to live pretty frugally out here. We don't eat out a lot. You know, we, we cook our meals, we catch fish, lobster. Another comment they receive is about their kids making friends, which they say is absolutely not a problem. Something that's really amazing out here is there's a huge cruising community. We're just, we're in a bay with some friends right now. Hudson's got some good buddies. They do water sports every day together. Yeah, they, it's it's actually been really cool. On our way down last season, down to Grenada, we traveled consistently with probably six to seven other boats and families, and they've got tons of friends, and we've got lots of incredible community out here. I caught that fish. With hurricane season coming up, four of the six family members plan to return to Idaho for the summer. The father and son duo, however, have different plans. We actually just launched a, what we call a sailing and boat life training experience where people who want to live this lifestyle and have no idea where to start, just like we didn't back then, um, they're going to come and join me and actually that's it, my first mate for a week at a time where we teach them all the things about boat life and sailing. So we're kind of excited about that. You can find more information on their boat training experience on IdahoNews.com. Reporting in Boise, I'm Sophia Dumani.